hi welcome to data on my view in this video i'm going to show how to configure reporting services for sql server 2016 first go to your system where you installed sql server so while installing you have to enable these reporting services so once you install the reporting services component then you can enable you can configure the reporting services all right search for reporting here you can see reporting services configuration manager so this is a place we are going to use to configure the reporting services and this is my instance sql server 2016 reporting services this is my server name and report server instance is my default instance click connect so my instance has been started now i'm going to service account I, i'm not going to touch anything here go to web service url here if you see report server web service is not configured yes we are going to configure so this is going to be my url web service url so this has been uh, actually captured but still not configured so to configure this if you uh, go to this url you will not get anything so we have to configure this first still we are getting a warning message this this will be uh, not available once you click the apply button so once you are uh, click the apply button it is going to configure the web service url so then this url will be available for us to access so once we applied it, you can see all these uh, results so because we click the apply button so now we configure the web service url so click this url and see what results you are getting here i have to pass my credential my credential so it is loading uh, it is going to show some messages so let it run so in the meanwhile we'll try to configure the rest of the sections here a database so as we are configuring reporting services so it means we can create a report and we can deploy the report to these particular services so it means it has to capture the information so what report uh, has been executed what are the re report data sets are available data sources are available the those informations needs to be captured so that should be captured on report server database so now there is no report ser uh, server database available we have to configure this so change database create a new report server database click next this is my server name and test connection so connection is succeeded go to next so by default report server is the report server database name so i'm going to keep as it is and click next and i'm going to have a credential authentication server service credential itself click next next so it is going to create a database for us so which we can access the management studio so now you can see everything is success it means uh, database has been created click finish so those details are uh, reflected here and we can go to web portal url so again uh, it's the same like web service url so this needs to be applied so i have to click the apply button so that this url will be considered as web portal url so let us see that Our report server database here connect my default instance here you can see report server and report server tmtb these two databases which we created now now we are going to configure web portal url 
so click apply so this is going to be applied so this url will be considered as web portal url so we have to see all the reports under this particular url so here you can see report server has configured and a configuration error so uh, in a first time we will get error like this so but uh, no worries so we will rectify this issue once we configured everything so now we just configuring web portal url so in the back end it is going to apply the configuration uh, options so once it has done then we can see this url enabled and uh, these two are uh, uh, these three are a major sections web service url database and uh, web portal url so once these configuration done then 95% uh, percentage of uh, configuration is done because uh, uh, email settings and execution under accounts are uh, not necessary for uh, 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 for a small business or uh, even when they are not preferring any uh, uh, information through email then no need to configure here so you can straight away go to that web, uh, service url and web portal url and you can create a report through visual studio and you can deploy and you can access the reports so now it has successfully configured now i'm going to click this uh, reports url so actually security is enabled okay now this has configured so it means uh, we are we can create a data source data sets reports and we can deploy to this particular uh, web portal url so now i'm going to refresh this web service url and see whether uh, is there any changes or not so we have to use this url to uh, deploy the reports so as we configured both web service url and web portal url now this is available so when you deploy the reports and data source data sets will be uh, uh, listed out here so here uh, it is going to be a graphical uh, uh, view where uh, we can give access to the end user they can come and uh, execute their own reports all right so in 2016 we have a power bi integration so in power bi integration in the sense i can register my power bi account with this configuration uh, reporting services so it means if i have any report uh, which has some charts and uh, some other informations i can easily pin that chart into my power bi account so that facility is also available when we configure this power bi integration all right exit so now this is available for our use thank you